Continuing on with working on this uh, granddaughter clock, you could see just barely the elephant, the two elephants right here, they're standing next to an alarm clock. This is the uh, 400 day clock repair guide by Charles Twilliger, and here is the the company's name I'm not even going to try to pronounce that but here they have two different clocks one was made in 1910 one was made in 1930 with uh, two elephants they have other clocks but they don't have the uh, uh, clock plates but they don't have the elephants name on them and they were partners with August Schatz and Sean at one time. Here's some information that was in a book a friend sent me. Uh... Here's what the NAWCC says about it. The company was started in 1881 and headed by August Schatz, grandfather of Kurt and Charles Schatz, later Dave Firm of August Schatz and Shun. Made 400 day clocks from 1881 up to World War One. When they retooled to make war materials civilian necessities, they made hundreds of thousands of alarm clocks and among other things. But I got the uh, movement out of the case and these little pinions right here on some of them are broken so I'm going to have to uh, to fix them um, or missing such as in this case right here you have some missing ones and your clock will not run if there's a gap between these trundles because it goes around and if it's missing a trundle then it will stop your clock or if the trundles are damaged I did straighten one of these out with a small pair of pliers but I'm gonna have what you gotta do is they soldered these pieces of wires in here so, so I'm gonna have to get a wire that's strong enough that goes into the diameter of that hole and then solder it so it don't come out and I really am not that good at soldering but I think it's a good system to tell you the truth because when you have I'm trying to find a gear when you have this kind of system and these leaves break on you you gotta cut away some of it form a new portion of it it's more of a pain than just to uh, put another wire down on that hole and solder it but that's what I have to do before I can put this movement back together. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, please subscribe and God bless.